Hello everyone, it is Tyler here back once again with another video on this channel and it is the final video, if you didn't get that, from the title that I'm ever going to do on this channel. In fact, I didn't even plan on doing this one, but with myself leaving the Four Pillars Network as always and all the podcasts at the end of this month, the end of this year, I just had this feeling of sort of nostalgia, a bit of melancholy, a bit sad that I'm wrapping my time up creating content in the video game entertainment space. It's been a long journey. This channel is over 10 years old that I've been making videos on it. And though I stopped officially making videos on this channel back in May of this year, I never actually did a final video. I never even really did a proper announcement. I just put out a tweet thread and left it at that, but it just didn't feel right to me. And I thought about it and I thought about it and I just knew I had to do one final video. I didn't really have the time to do anything too crazy. So we're just going to be sort of jumping into the Ezio trilogy. I'm going to play the opening of Assassin's Creed 2. I'm going to play one of my favorite missions in Brotherhood and then in Revelations. And I'm just going to chat through it, chat through my time making content here on this channel, on the podcast, with these games and what I love about them. You know, I just feel like that's the right video to be doing. Not that I really play games at all anymore and I had to pull the PS5, um, grab it off my brother so I could make this video. Uh, but I did want to do just something small to give this channel and my time and the community a proper send-off. Uh, I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Now, I'm not sure if this will be a bit of a fun of me having a laugh playing the games or... It'll be a bit of a mini podcast where I'm just sort of talking the whole way through and I just leave it uncut. I don't know how it's going to turn out just yet, but I knew this is a video I wanted to make. So here we are. I um, want to thank everyone for the years of support that have been here, whether it's a small time or a long time. Uh, and I realized that some people didn't even really know what happened. And I'm sort of moving on to other ventures and just, you know, life goes on. I started this channel when I was 16 years old. I'm 27 now. Uh, life has changed, I've changed, my interests have changed, and I've already sort of started onto my sort of next chapter of what I want to be doing in terms of content creation because I am a content creator at heart and I still do that. It's my job, it's what I do. Um, but video games aren't that anymore for me, um, something I haven't really been into in a while and certainly don't spend any time in anymore. Um, as much as I'd like to, it's not that I don't like them, it's just, you know, there's other things I do love even more and there will be announcements and there will be things I'm going to be doing in the new year in terms of content. And if it happens to be an interest that you also have, maybe check that out. So if you want to stay tuned on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Tyler underscore 4P or is it Tyler 4P? I don't fucking know. It'll be on the screen. It'll be on the screen, my social media, my Twitter and Instagram, they're the same at. Um, so uh, thank you everyone for the support over the years. I'm enjoying this final month of the podcast with all the boys, the As Always podcast, Clubhouse podcast, uh, and the Four Pillars podcast, all wrapping up this month on my end. And, you know, there may be some special episodes here and there. You know, I'll pop around and, you know, James and George and Ethan are still incredible friends in my life. Um, I was just over in the UK visiting them, among many others within the community. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be here um without all of you and all of them and the support over the years. So here we go. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here, chat for a while, get nostalgic and cry. And we don't want that in this video. That'll be for probably the last podcast I do. But uh, anyway, let's start AC2, shall we? We're going to skip the intro. We just have to skip the intro. It's just what we're going to do, unfortunately. Jesus, it's been a while. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they now? I think it just feels right to be doing this for the last video I do. Um, as weird as it is to be making an Assassin's Creed video again, because it is fucking weird. Don't get it twisted. It's bizarre at the moment. Um, but the Ezio trilogy. I mean, there'd be no channel without it. That's just a fact. 
So it makes the most sense to be this. Still my favourite character in video games. What was all the other was like a podcast highlight? Talking about Hogwarts Legacy would have been the final video on this channel. Like, yeah, we can't have that, can we? Surely we can't have that. And we won't have that. We will not have that. That won't happen. Also want to give a shout out to um, another great channel, Friend of the Four Pillars. Joe, the founder of Scarborough, also made a final video who asked me to partake in it. And I said I would. And then I didn't because I was wrapping up everything. And I was like, I'm not talking about Assassin's Creed. This is me in my head. I'm like, look, I should do it because it's Joe. But also, I'm not talking about Assassin's Creed. It's not what I do anymore. Um, do I really want to even give this franchise, even the Ezio trilogy, any feedback? And then... When I had the idea that I'm like, I should probably do a final video, it was too late to get Joe anything. So apologies, Joe, shout out to him. Um, he So go check out his final video as well, chatting about the Ezio trilogy, but he does a much more comprehensive, really good video on it. This is just me chatting shit playing. So shout out to him and apologies. I didn't partake. Um, and then I've gone ahead and done a video like this anyway. So I'm an asshole. But I know in that video... The boys talked about what these games did for them. And as much as I don't really look back on these games anymore the same way as I used to, like playing this, I've just, there's no games I've played more than the SEO trilogy. It's just all muscle memory now, these games. The way it's played, all the scenes, like, you know, everything that happens is just so ingrained in my brain that I'll never forget. But I think these these games definitely represent probably even more now than they did back then because at the time, obviously, it was just a fandom obsession that I had with these games that then became a YouTube channel that then became a business that then became a collaborative business with the Four Pillars and as always, among many other friends from the conversations, boys, Joe, Walshy, many others that we've worked with, Last Sand Media, Colin and Maddie, and those guys, and made so many great friends. I mean, even just from the mods on the old Discord that became some of my closest friends, people that I met through the meetup that we had years ago. I've got a godchild now because of this. I got some of my best friends because of this community. So that's what these games represent to me now. So even though it's not the same and it's not like, oh, I love these. Like I do. Like, of course, I'll always have love for these games, but there's not a lot of care that I have for it all anymore. And that's okay. But I certainly will never talk shit about the Ezio trilogy. They're incredible games. And it was an incredible time in my life to be a fan of these games. The multiplayer the finding the online space of Assassin's Creed that then led to this channel, that all happened. My career, my job, I wouldn't have gotten. It's it's in content creation. It's in, um, you know, on digital media. This channel, the podcast, the business helped me get that job. You know, my portfolio helped me do that. So I have a career because of this as well. Is it because the Extra Trilogy? Maybe. Maybe my whole life is based on this, so it just, it's only right that we're here right now, ladies and gentlemen. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war they're in. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if I was, it would take months. What this conversation did was literally build, okay, this is a franchise. This is the future. This is where we're going with this character, Desmond. He's going to become an assassin. Holy shit, I can't wait to go on this journey and experience that. My ancestor. What was his name? And then it all just so fucking quickly fell apart into a pile of dog shit. I'll try not to do this the whole time, which is talk shit about what happened at the franchise, but that's okay. I mean, it, 
this is me talking shit in like 2014 days though. It was like, I can't believe what happened to it. It's like, if only I knew. If only I knew back in Unity days. I thought that was like rough. Ha! Huh. Lol. Wait till the game's about Norse gods. And nothing to do with assassins. Wait till then. That'll be hilarious. You don't mind Desmond. Better to get straight to work. Time is precious. Deadly so these days. Somehow looks better in this game than in the whole. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not chatting. We're here for one reason. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I've got to speak to everybody. I'm just here for the. It's a good life we live, brother. That's all we're here for. Can't help but smile. Even now, even all these years later. That's my boy still right there. That's my fucking boy. My uh, good camera fucked up, but that's why I've got the backup camera. So we're moving to that. That's fine. Don't need a big thing for it anyway. I'm only going to put my head in a little... It's my little window on the top corner of the screen anyway, so we're good. You still can't beat a better character intro than this for Ezio Auditore. These, the street fight, the small bits of dialogue with his brother, with Vieri, with his sort of gang, I guess, that have no input after that. Um, you just get so much an understanding of who he is, what his lifestyle is, how he reacts to things, his motivations, and just a foundation for growth from this guy the brash young man to who he becomes at the end of Revelations. I mean, you're talking about a fucking lifetime. You're talking about a real fucking journey. And that's why this intro only gets better and only got better as more games for Ezio came out from Brotherhood Revelations. You'd play this part and you're like, holy shit. It's even better. And plus with the soundtrack, this moment just... Still lives forever. Here we go. Come on, then, this way. Where are you going? You'll see. Yes, had to reinstall this game to play this today. <laughs> Just for the video, boys. <sighs> it's only right. It's only right this is in the last video. It has to be. One last Assassin's Creed video. Alright, we're on a Brotherhood. Problem here is... I thought on the PS5 I had a finished, complete Brotherhood. But I do not. I don't have a finished Brotherhood. I was going to like do a... Um, a uh, memory like of one of my favorite missions which is a shame that I can't but here we are it looks like we're about to do the battle of Monteregioni so look not a bad not a bad one <clears throat> plenty of interest for both I'm sure I've done Revelation surely to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here I let him leave the Spaniards live to be fair, one of the dumbest things Ezio ever did. <laughs> hey bro, just kill him. 
It's not even about revenge anymore. Just for the better, like the greater good. Still one of the most fun set piece scenes of the franchise. Never not love playing this mission. Even with you knowing going in what happens because it was the demo for Brotherhood. They must have mastered the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the ramparts. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme, per la vittoria. Insieme. How the dude with the Apple of Eden goes on the front lines is insane. For sure, give it to the unkillable guy. You always want to get three. That was always a thing. I'd always want to try to like... But then you fuck it up like that and you only get one and you're super embarrassed. Yeah. Oh god, that's a bad shot too. Oh no, we took three. We're fine. We're f I meant to do that. But that was a bad shot. Yeah, that was good. That one felt good. I don't know why they needed this many guys for Montevideo of all places, to be fair. Don't you reckon? So much going on. Tens of thousands of Romans. There we go, that's what I want to see. Still the goat villain too. Cesare. And to have all the targets all there, just, I don't know. Fucking iconic. I will hold them back. Go! Wait for us! We thought you had this deal, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the wall. I am surprised it exists. Fucking traitor. Black people, I must go help the troops. One of the random cool payoffs of the game. <laughs> that fucking one eyed thief. Is he all right? Gracias, Dio. To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. One of the cold signs of time. The question now becomes. How much of Revelations have I played on this console? And do I have to play the intro to a game again? Oh my god, we haven't even played Revelations on here! Fuck! Okay then. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're playing the intro to all the games and not favourite missions. <laughs> Still the best soundtrack. Still the best soundtrack in all of Assassin's Creed. And one of the great soundtracks in video games. Revelations. At least in my opinion. <clears throat> Alright, let's fucking get into one here. 
The real reason. Ezio. Ugh. The coolest fucking intro. What will I find when I arrive? Goat trailer, absolute goat trailer. You greet me. A host of eager Templars, I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the assassins for almost 300 years now. And we still claim it for our own. And we welcome them. The amount of fucking stretching he must do every day at 53 years of age to still be doing this. Towards chaos. Today I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. Right, imagine being so in touch. With the eagle vision that you can see into the past. No one. No one's this OG. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me? Or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory. But fight to continue the search for truth. So that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands. And the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. <sighs> Fucking what a moment. man just the absolute man look still probably overall the weakest game of the trilogy but compared to all the other assassin's creeds it's the third best oh god i don't know how to play this anymore look would have liked to have vibed with Rome in Brotherhood and Constantinople in Revelations, but the intros are still pretty fucking iconic and pretty good, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, the hook's on there. <laughs> Why do I already have the sword and shit? What the fuck is going on? I literally pulled out the sword before. That was weird. I know this is the wrong way, but I wanted to fucking explore a bit. I don't think I've ever done even done that. I always just follow the the right way. I don't think I've ever run around this. It's like look back in. Not that you can see shit, but oh well. One last walk through Masyaf as well. You see, I don't know when I'll ever, if ever, play these games again, to be totally honest. And that's a real thought I'm only just having now. This video isn't just for that. This is also documenting maybe the last time I play the most important video games of my life. I'd like to think maybe one day I'll play them again, but probably not. Oh shit. These games really had great intros. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Um. Oh, 
steal that of mine. Oh, ho, and then run into it. That was easy. Sound the edge, sound the edge, sound the edge. There we go. Fuck you. Survive, survive. <laughs> that was touch and go there for a second. This dude must be freaking the fuck out of like, how the fuck is he still alive? He just can't be killed. Easy work. Easy work. Alright, we're on here. One final dance. As that's out of Toro. Mate, you are fucked. Let's try not to get hit. Oof. We made it. Just. Oh shit, no, they're still shooting at us. <laughs> this fucking coward. One last ride. Let's do it. Thought it would be right to at least get to Constantinople. To end the video, to end my time with the Ezio trilogy. My time with Assassin's Creed and the time on this channel. Ezio's my guy. Always will be. Wouldn't have made the channel without these games. This character. The channel led me to all of you, this whole community. As always, the four pillars of the podcast for over eight years. Lifelong friends I've made. Traveled the world my career that I now have like there's so many things I can draw back to this and it's only right that I end with this with Ezio and a good scene for it I guess have you been traveling long? Si. I'm also 10. I left Rome a 12 months ago looking for inspiration that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. It does. Constantinople is a city for all kinds and food. Students like me or uh, travelers such as yourself. Are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Galdin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory says La La La. Right, oh. 
Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze, the city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Kazim Da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for the city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor Da Firenze. I will show you around. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you one last time for tuning in to one of my videos and to my channel. Thank you for the years of support. Thank you for everything. Um, there's still a few things coming this month, so head over to the Four Pillars Network channel for the last few podcasts. Patreon.com forward slash as always. Last couple of clubhouses, a little bit of content there. So go check that out if you feel so inclined. But if not, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me and my channel for all these years. And I'll see you all for the next adventure pretty soon. Goodbye.